What is up guys and happy holidays. Today we're gonna be making some really fun and easy holiday coasters using some leather and Angelus paint. First things first, you're gonna wanna pick up some light colored leather that's on the thicker side. My leather is about 2.1 millimeters thick, which will be easy to cut, but also thick enough for a coaster. My leather came rolled up, so I'm gonna tape it down so that it'll stay in shape while we do our drawing. The first step before we do anything is we're actually gonna use some Angelus Prepare and Deglazer to prep the entire surface for painting. I recommend doing this before we lay down any pencil lines as it may smudge or remove them. For the drawing portion, I'm just going to draw some shapes on a blank sheet of paper, but feel free to use a stencil or a printout for this portion if that's easier. I also recommend drawing really basic shapes so that you don't have to worry about cutting out super fine details in the leather. As you can see, my shapes are going to be pretty easy to cut out. Next, we'll be transferring over our shapes onto the leather using my favorite method, which is graphite paper. Essentially, this just acts as pencil lead, so whatever you draw on top of it will transfer over to the other side. We just need to lay our paper over the graphite sheet, then trace our lines using a small bit of pressure. Once we remove the paper, the lines will appear nice and visible on the leather. And I'm just going to repeat those same steps on the other side so I get four coasters per sheet. I'm going to be doing a total of eight coasters, so I did another four on my other sheet of leather. There's going to be four Christmas coasters and four Thanksgiving coasters. Now that all our shapes are in place, it's time to start drawing in the details. I'm just going to go in shape by shape and pencil in every line that's going to be featured in the design. Take your time with this step, as these are going to be your guidelines for the rest of the project. It's time to start cutting our custom shaped coasters, and we're going to be using just regular scissors for this. It is a thicker piece of leather, but it should still cut pretty easily with a little pressure. All we have to do is follow our pencil lines to get some clean looking cuts. All right, now we have each shape cut out. It's starting to look pretty festive already. We're ready for the next step, and that is outlining our pencil lines with flat black paint. I want to preserve all my lines before adding color, so we're going to outline everything and add the color around them. This just prevents you from having to draw your details in again if you choose to add color before the black lines. And I'm going to be doing the same steps for every shape, applying the outline first and adding color around those lines. All right, outlines are in place. Now it's time for the fun part, which is adding in our color. And since we have our outlines in place already, this is sort of like adding color to a coloring page. I'm gonna be using various color mixtures, but for every mixture, I started out by pouring in flat white, adding a few drops of my color, and a tiny bit of gray to flatten the brightness. Everyone has their own way of mixing, so feel free to get creative with this process. For each shape, I'm gonna apply about three to four coats with drying times in between, and then the most important thing is to paint the edges as well. This will kind of smooth those edges over and make the job look a lot cleaner in the end. And then the last thing I'm going to do for each shape is grab my black paint again and just clean up the black outline of any color that might have spilled over onto it. So I'm pretty much going to follow the same steps for every coaster, add color to their designated areas, paint the edges, and clean up the outline. This part is going to be super fun and relaxing, so feel free to turn on a movie or show, grab some tea or hot chocolate, and have fun color blocking in the shapes. Since this surface is going to be used as a coaster, we're going to be applying some four coat to protect it from water, scratching, and scuffing as it's used throughout the holidays. Mm -hmm. 